I'm not helping her pretty little pink cat. It's not that cold this morning, but she still looks really cute with that hat on. They did a lot better this morning. When they got here, they still are a little nervous. Josie, uh, to come just come straight in the tantrum. Like right now, her running away, so I got to get her back in there because we did a lot better other than just running out of the tension. But Allie did a lot better, so that's good. We're gonna try to keep them here. Let her finish eating because she needs to eat. So. Well, as you can see, it's still not quite full morning yet. So it's dark, so excuse this video, but I did want to give you an update. Uh, she has done, she did great this morning. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong, she's a little hesitant still to go on the stanchion, which uh, stanchion training helped on the kicking tremendously. And, and she is used to going into the stanchion. However, I think it's the thought of her baby still not being comfortable in the stanchion all the whole time. Once we get the baby in there, she settles down. Allie will come on in, which is good. But me and Missy had a way better morning this morning than most. So I hope it's getting better. I hope we're on the positive side of it. And we won't reg regress tomorrow. So, well, I got the uh, the Energizer, the, the new Energizer. Got it charged up over the last three days. It's ready to put on the shocker knot. So we're going to go ahead and get it on the shocker knot before we go in from doing morning chores. We just got done milking Alley. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get this on. You can hear them. They're going crazy in there. We, we've let them out. But then we've been really kind of keeping an eye on them because this fence wasn't lit yet. Um, so now we'll be able to just kind of leave them out, period, and they can do what they want to do. So I'm going to go get a state, a T-Post, uh, a T-Post driver, and we'll get this thing on right quick. All right, most of my chargers just sit on the ground. What about this one that goes on T-post? I, I don't use, but normally five and a half to six foot T-post on any fencing or anything I do, but I had a few bigger ones that were um, seven and eight foot. Uh, and that'll keep it up and keep it heavily charged, especially for little chickens versus cows. Cows, I don't worry about predators as much as I do about chickens. So we're gonna get this on. All right, I'm not willing to touch the fence to see if it's on because it's got, this is a, a pretty heavy uh, voltage running through this one. This is it's good for 10 miles, so I don't know if I just want to be like, you know, not that I won't accidentally do it anyway, but oh, dang it. I got, see, I got to turn the fence off because I got to go in and let them out of their little thing. So, see, there you go. That's what happened. Turn it off. I could have done it right there, just touched it and see if it really got me. I got a fence charger in the house, so I'm gonna go get it and check it. But there they go. All right, so let's uh let's get some water uh, and get some more feed for them, and we'll be set to go. Some of the birds have found it. Let's see what the rest of them do. Normally I put it, of course, in, in their bucket, but the bucket was in there. And be honest with you, that's usually Aiden's job, but I just wanted to give them a little bit as I brought them out. So. Y'all, 
All right, good morning. She she actually came in pretty good. The calf was a little bit uh, harder today. She didn't want to come in. She ran from me, so I had to run her down and pin her up. Of course, now I've got her on a, her own little rope halter. You can see her. She was difficult. And now she's mad and scared because I had to run her down, but um, I didn't want it's flooding or it was raining just stop, but I kept Misty and Aiden inside today and just decided to try to do it myself. Kind of like I used to do with Elsa by myself. So we'll um, see how the day goes. Allie is actually doing good. It's the calf that it's getting a little difficult. She's starting to run a lot more from us. I'm not staying with mom when it's time to milk. So I might have to just put her straight into a, uh, a halter and at night halt her up or either bring her closer to the stanchion to make it where I'm not running across the field trying to catch her because she's not running in a pattern. She's just going crazy. So. So anyway, so uh, we'll see how the day goes. She's actually laying down now, which I got the, uh, so she's doing good now. And she's on her halter, and I hate to leave her on a halter, but with not having help here, I can't have her run out and all of a sudden freak Allie out. So let's get started and get the day done. Okay, unlike having my, unlike Elsa, y'all know Elsa. Unlike Elsa where I did a pre-dip, post-dip, being that I have a calf, um, I, I don't want to put anything abrasive on her, so I do use an iodine white steel, but I do not do a post deal, and because I don't want the calf, you know, getting getting that, uh, you know, in her system. Not saying it's bad, but with me, before I use it the next day or before I milk again, I do ACV wash, and then, you know, I don't have a problem. But the problem is now, because you know, baby eats pretty much all day still. We allow her to eat whenever she pretty much wants to still right now because she's so young, I don't want to cause any issues. So what I'll do is I'll clean her off again with iodine. Um, and then I, what I'll do is wipe that off. And instead of doing a post dip, I'll do a coconut oil um, wipe. It keeps her moisturized. It's a natural antibacterial. So again, if the calf gets it, it's not going to hurt her. But also it kind of helps close her up a little bit. Plus I'll let her stand in her stanchion for about 15 minutes. So instead of doing a post dip and uh, if you ever want to know how to, how I milk my, my milk cows by hand or with pump, uh, I've got old videos on both if you're new to our channel. However, in this case, being that I have a calf, because I've never done, never had to worry about a calf, um, I do things a little different. So, um, well, you see we just iodine dipped her, not really post dip, but just got an iodine just to clean her off. Uh, not that the machine is nasty, actually the machine is cleaner probably than anything else because we, we make sure because we're drinking raw milk. But it just allows her to get clean from uh, me touching her, from the rags, from everything. And then I'll put the, the coconut dip on her or the coconut wipe on her. It's just a basically just straight up coconut oil. But it's it's good to keep her moisturized. It helps kind of close her up. It's a natural antibacterial. Uh, and then of course the calf go to town and we usually let the calf nurse a little bit while we're in here if she wants to because i want the calf to feel comfortable about being in here so i'm just to get her up see if she'll nurse uh, after i do the coconut see i come out so early about that five time that they're kind of somewhat still kind of laying down so i always hope that she's not nursed i mean if she nursed tonight okay but i'm talking about lately from that 4 35 o'clock time so my goal is for baby to understand the importance of coming in here too now Allie comes in here because she wants to eat it's kind of the first thing she wants to do um, to be honest with you Allie still hadn't just gained her weight back she just seems like she's not as hungry as she used to be which you know she's a nursing mama and also uh, a new mama so I've been trying to really put some good quality high-end feed alfalfa to her plus her hay is, is she, she of course she likes to eat and her ryegrass but the point of hopefully not having the baby eat because I want the baby to want to come in here too and eat just like she does. So if the baby eats before, it's not about the milk. If I'm not getting enough milk, it's the fact that I can't get the baby rounded up in here too. Uh, like this morning was more difficult with the baby. Not with Allie. Allie was ready, but Allie, every time Allie tried to go to the stanchion just because baby didn't want to go there, Josie didn't want to, she'd follow Josie. So, um, and I, if she got a little, this morning instead of just laying down and letting me pick her up, a lot of times she'll let me pick her up this morning because she knows what's coming she just ran straight away from me so i had to kind of just chase her down tie kind of round her up into a corner and then grab her so you know that could be agitated you know the situation for me and then of course it agitates her and then agitates mama so it just makes it a little bit more stressful so i'm trying to get 
Josie, like Allie, where she'll just want to come in here and not be difficult. So now if she can nurse a little bit. It allows her to know, hey, it's time to eat when you come in here, just like it's uh, mama's time to eat. Um, pros and cons to this morning. She milked great. Um, actually went in the stanchion pretty easy too. Um, the problem this morning was definitely getting Josie in with mom. All right, stanchion is clean. We've got the shovel on the rake here. I think I'm gonna just leave them here because this cow just always wants to pee and poop when she gets in the stanchion, which if you ask Miss Mac, she laughs at me, but that bothers me. But they are animals. Now I got it cleaned out, checked on the chickens this morning, uh, the meat birds. Uh, we lost one at dine, not sure why. Um, I'm counting only 23 this morning, so I'm not sure if I lost another one or not. A terrible storm last night but there's no way to get out of the net so i don't know if a hawk got it or if i'm just you know i'm just trying to count one two three four which is very hard if you ever had meat birds or any chicks so i'm gonna go back and check again right quick but i hope you've enjoyed today kind of a crazy video about milking so hopefully it uh it helps you if you're on a milking journey or trying to figure out if you're going to be a milking person go back and watch our milk videos some are easy. There's been some stressful days. Uh, there's some sacrifices you have to make. But all in all, we love having fresh milk. And it's worth it because that's part of a major sustainability uh, clause for us. Because again, we, we milk for milk, we milk for butter, we milk for yogurt. So there's always something going on that we need milk for. So it's worth the sacrifice for us. So thank you again for watching. God bless you. Hope you enjoy our videos and our content. Uh, if you know there's people like us that are like-minded that would like the Max, please share us uh, with them. Our goal is to always grow our channel, but also learn from you. And we love hearing from comments. So please like, share, comment, and uh, let us know what you think about what we're doing from the pre-dip, post-dip uh, with the calf, versus not having a calf, or uh, how to keep a calf from running from you when it's time to meal. So have a good day. God bless you. Also remember, Happy Thanksgiving. This time of year for us as Christians, we believe that uh, we love Christmas and we've put Christmas trees up everywhere. But ultimately for us, this season's all about Jesus. And, and for us, we, uh, we never take for granted our family, our health, our ableness to do what we call life uh, on the homestead and farm. And uh, we're very thankful for all the things God's blessed us with. Um, God bless you. Happy homestead, y'all.